the voyages of the Benship Transit, its captain, the League Against Stadium, its mission to discover England and confuse it. Attention, scum! Scum! Pay attention! You are nothing! Absolutely nothing! You are... I do not speak like you. Because I am not like you. Because I am not like you. I do not speak to men, for in comparison to me, all men are women. <laughs> I do not speak to women unless they is supermodel. And then I speak only to them for three seconds. Any longer they can trace the call. <laughs> and anyway, how long does it take to say, Angel, Virgin, Bitch, or Mother, will you marry me? <laughs> forbidden fruit, forbidden fruit, but vegetables allowed. Oh, your wisdom. Cleanliness is next to godliness, you say, yes. And the chip shop is next to the hairdressers. <laughs> Does not persuade me to visit either. <laughs> there is much wisdom in sayings. Look before you leap. A stitch in time saves nine. And I, too, have some sayings. Get out of my way. <laughs> a punch in the gob lets a fat man know his status. <laughs> When the crowd gets behind you, it means you are facing the wrong way. In love as in fighting, the winner has an eight-foot pole. He who disagrees with me in private, call him a fool. He who disagrees with me in public, call him an ambulance. <laughs> Brevity is the soul of wit, said Shakespeare. I say, bum. <laughs> Thus I win. What am I? What am I? Once, I stood in a queue, pretending to be just like everybody else. And then, without once letting my mask slip, I boarded the bus and I travelled home. But, when I got home, oh, how I laughed! Attention! Scam! In this world, there are winners and losers. And, of course, the others who comprise the majority. I have the taller hat.
What's that you say? The watched pot never boils? Indeed so. Experiment confirms this. <laughs> the same, however, is true of the unwatched pot. <laughs> For whether or not a pot is watched or not does not affect its temperature. Only whether the pot is on the stove, the stove has been lit, and most crucially of all, the gas bill has been paid. <laughs> Why do men die before their wives? Could it be because they want to? Hello, kitten exchange. What's that you say? What goes around comes around? Or does it? While you make up your mind. Duck! <laughs> Duck! They like that. Money doesn't grow on trees, you say. Yes, it does. It's paper. What am I? 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 I'd like to think of you as a friend. Does my bum look big in this? Hello? Hello? Uh, this is the news. Still the news. The news, news, news network. It's me with the news repeating the news 24 hours a day. The news! It'll always be the news. It'll never be sport. It might involve it, but news comes first and sport's the little <laughs> annoying toddler that tags along. But primarily, it's the news. Bollocks! Bollocks! Dogs bollocks! Ah, oh, there's something inside them. Uh, might, it might be a cure for cancer. Uh, it might be the cause of it. We don't know. Uh, progress is expected, but uh, news in says don't hold your breath. Um, news. What's that you say? The pen is mightier than the sword. Very well. Get out your pens. Prepare to have your logic tested by steel. <laughs> and you say, he who lives by the sword shall die by the sword. Indeed so. Likewise, he who lives by the pen, he who lives by the word processor, he who lives by the fax machine, all shall die by the sword. <laughs> Only he who lives by the tank shall remain immune. It is said at the age of 55, each man becomes that which he most despised at the age of 25. And I live in constant fear lest I should become a badly organized coach trip to Cleethorpes. 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 <laughs> Stephen Hawking looks like an idiot, but isn't. <laughs> it's a common problem faced by people with physical disabilities. They're often thought to have mental ones as well. In a similar sort of way, athletes are often asked their opinion. <laughs> Nothing wrong with an athlete having opinion, just a little bit unusual, a bit unexpected. Like finding a radish in a box of chocolate. <laughs> Admire stupid people. For what, you ask? For their stupidity, of course. <laughs> What am I? What am I? What am I? What am I? All men are bastards. Claim the feminists. Indeed so. Or is it just the ones you fancy? <laughs> and if all men are bastards, who is to blame for it? Could it be their mothers? <laughs> Mother! 
surely I am free of you now. <laughs> All women are whores, some women are superb whores. <laughs> ah, you have to love your mother. She bore you. Nevertheless, you have to love her. <laughs> Let us now remember Sir Clive Sinclair. Who was he? What did he want? This, my friends, we shall never know. We could ask him, but what would be the point? He would only lie. Like most true Scots, I secretly despise the haggis, the kilt, and the caber. Unlike most true Scots, I'm not Scottish. <laughs> Hurrah! Question. Why do the Scots eat haggis? The truth is, my friends, they don't and they never have. Oh, I grant you, out of the corner of your eye, you may see a Scot eating a haggis. But no, observe closely, they never swallow. The truth is, my friends, they only pretend to eat haggis. It's a means of selling offal to tourists. <coughs> ah, a rose. A rose by any other name would smell as sweet, said Shakespeare. Not quite. No man is an island. I'm an island. Oh, some pretend. I'm an island. They are not islands, they are idiots treading water. Although no man is an island, you can make quite an effective raft out of six. <laughs> you bow. That is an act of supplication. It is also the act of a cannon. Hello, do you require flattery or advice? <laughs> You're very wise. There comes a point in life where one should learn to shut up. It is called birth. Attention, scum! In the unlikely event of a fire, rejoice! Burn your own house down. Then, my friend, you shall be free. Many are willing to suffer for their art. Few are willing to learn to draw. Two thousand years and it's come to this. Either or. Either celibacy or Shirley Bassey. Bow to your dog or face the consequences. <laughs> the 
difference between men and women is this. Women can have babies. Men can urinate standing up. Though not accurately. News! Uh, a thousand jobs in Liverpool disappear. Um, surprise, surprise. Uh, up in time side, they reappear like six months to a year later. And apparently, the red light district is moving north. It's news! If a million monkeys were given a million typewriters, eventually one of them might produce the complete works of Shakespeare. But to reach it, would it be worth wading through 400,000 copies of Money by Martin Amis? I think not. If a million monkeys were given a million typewriters, why, that would be the internet, surely. If a million monkeys were given a million typewriters, eventually one of them might produce the complete works of Shakespeare. I have but one monkey and one typewriter. Nevertheless, it's worth a shot. Type monkey, type. Faster. Underneath, bleat the hypocrites. You are all underneath, I remind them. But they don't like it. Attention, scum. <coughs> wickedy, wickedy, welcome to the future, it's broken. All men are brothers. Brothers. Hence war. <laughs> But what are the causes of war? Religion causes war. Indeed. Many wars have been waged in the name of religion. Likewise, in the name of freedom, justice, democracy, and common sense. Wars have also been waged in the name of women, in the name of glory, and of Gloria Estefan. <laughs> it was a short war, but you know the Cubans, no stamina. <laughs> Then, oh then, will there come a time when war is waged in the name of war? War! War! When will war be waged? For a laugh. For fun. It's a good fun thing, war. Come on, we love it. War, war, war. Let us have a third world war. Against who? Against Germany, of course. This time we start it. War. War! 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 <laughs> what do men find so attractive about women's breasts? It is because there are two of them, and that represents good value. But a woman's breasts are something to be overcome, not come over. <laughs> let there be an end to war. Oh, let there be an end to war. Turn your swords into plowshares. Turn your tanks into timeshares. The living room revolves, you know. All right, just one more war. Bomb Jersey! Why? Because it's there, and it shouldn't be. Bomb Jersey! Let them know! Bomb Jersey! We'll have the advantage of surprise. Bomb Jersey! It'll keep the Isle of Wight in line. Bomb Jersey! And the Isle of Man. Bomb Jersey for their creamy milk. Bomb Jersey for their stinking potatoes. Bomb Jersey obliterated from the sea. Bomb Jersey! <laughs>
You want something repeated? Tell a woman, the future is female. With this, one cannot argue, only bicker. What am I? 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 Whomsoever pulls this sword from the stone shall become king of all England. I am king! King! Who wants to be king anyway? King, king, just being... Want to be bishop? Bishop? Want to be bishop? How should you judge a man? By his race, by his religion, by his views, by his accent? Yes! Yes, all of these things. But most importantly, by his hat. Hat? Hat! I haven't got a hat. I have! I win! By studying calculus and geometry to the highest degree, it is possible for a young man to remain a virgin until the age of 19. Possible, but not necessary, as it turns out. Ah, memories. I remember they all looked up from their textbooks when I announced, I have overcome the world. And although some claimed I had merely come over an atlas, it was to be my last geography lesson. You know, it was only after my father showed me what I would inherit that I struggled to keep him alive. And I remember, on my 14th birthday, my father nervously handed me a box containing the complete works of Sigmund Freud. And my mother, with a sly wink, gave me a revolver. It's like a normal vulva, only it spins. Imagine that! They were very surprised when I shagged my dad and shot my mum. I've been attempting to build a bridge between our souls, across the ocean that divides us. But I suspect in one or two cases what I've been building is a pier. And far, far across the ocean, you have been building gun emplacements. Never mind. Please, would you do the traditional Tintagel goodbye waving ceremony that we've all heard so much about? 
I like it, it's subtle. <laughs> That's it, that there, follow your leader. <laughs> Go, traitor! Tell the others! This, my army, will defeat them. I stand here on the bridge. Prepare the ropes. Pull me to the next town in this nameless valley. Ciao! Which, which am I? Which am I?